my gosh, we're back with more author shorts because who doesn't love them? I mean, quick little blurbs about new releases and books. And you guys, I have Enigma series, Breakfield and Berkey here. And they're, they are releasing a new book August 20th. So you guys talk to us about your new book that's coming out. So hi, Amy. How are you? I mean, we're so delighted to be here for the Ransom Enigma. Thank you so much for having us. The Ransom Enigma is our for season three of the underground author's Magnolia Bluff Crime Chronicles. Now, to be fair here, uh, what we've done is we've uh, actually brought back the characters we started with in the first season and second season, and uh, we like them so much. Here they are with yet another massive problem. All they're trying to do is have a good time, um, hang out with the uh, the folks that have, uh, that they've worked with, and it seems to be that the touch is the reverse. They have a reverse Midas touch. Is what happens? Okay. So well, their house is finished. I'm sorry. Go. Ahead. No, you're good. Go. So their house is finished. They're moving in for at least a summer home in Bluff. They want to have a celebrate with the entire town so they invite everybody simply everybody and boy does everybody descend upon their beautiful home and with all the fun that they had waiting until the evening they had a dj they've got food galore they're worried about at first oh man we'll never get rid of all this food and then it's like quick can somebody go down to the uh, to the stop and rob and get some more food because we don't have enough for all these people so, uh, oh my you know, goodness. Uh, oh, you know, it sounded like my kind of party with DJs and food and just good conversation. But then when you get real crowded, you got a lot of people. I don't know. Trouble happens. You know, all kinds of stuff can happen when you have and a it, big And crowd. it does. And it does. But then everybody decides you know, they're happy. They're laughing. They're having a good time. And the, and the people start to drift away, right? They're, they're done. Even the young people have worn out their two-step and their boot scooting kind of stuff. And so they're they're out the door. So all that's left there is, you know, JJ and Joe, the people that own the house, and the police chief who was tending bar to make sure nobody had too much to drink. We, we call it overserved. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there were people that actually left them housewarming gifts. And there was one in particular that ended up putting the biggest bummer onto the evening that was possible. Rude party foul. I'm pretty sure that's just a party foul. We no, we don't do that. Party gifts or, or you know, housewarming gifts are supposed to be warm and inviting. Anything other than that is a party foul, and that person's not invited back. That's my rule of thumb. Exactly. They just don't know who that person is, but definitely a party foul. So we look forward to people kind of taking a look at the story, finding out what that party foul was. Because mm. it mm. really, really made a dent in the happiness column. Oh my, I mean, I can imagine nobody wants that kind of party foul by any means. But I always like to like to ask this, and I want to ask this before we hop off really quick. But I like to kind of kick these conversations off with, how long did it take you to write this book and how did the inspiration for the story kind of come about for Ransom Enigma? Well, we were we were traveling to a uh, to a book uh, signing fair and uh, what we do what we always do uh, we let uh, rocks do the driving at Mach 1 and uh, because I'm, I'm such a timid fellow uh, I, I go ahead and take notes and we took we just bannered back and forth this storyline and uh, it, by the time we get to where we're at, you know, I'm putting the last touches on the uh, the, the story thread, and uh, we basically have um, that year's um, story ready to go. All we have to do is add in nouns, adverbs, you know, adjectives, <laughs> that kind of thing. Just write it. You just have to write it. You have your outline. You just gotta make the words come off the page. Yeah. Right. And the inspiration is Texas, small town. Everybody knows everybody's business. And somebody always wants to, you know, put a fly in the ointment. Oh, man, I'm telling you, we can have a whole short about small towns because 
some people don't consider the city. I live in a small town, but when you come from bigger cities, this is a small town for sure. We'll have to jump into that in part two. So you guys, this is going to be the end of part one. And make sure you join us for part two. We're going to hear more about the Ransom Enigma, which is out August 20th. Make sure you're going to go and grab your copy. But we're going to dive in a little bit deeper into the story. So make sure that you join us for part two. But until then, you guys, bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye.